God damn it, slow bro. You obviously are confused. Gender confused, if that. Does anybody even know what, like, can Slowbro be like a unisex, or what is it? He's pink though, he's just weird. I'm assuming, the, by the way, he scratches his belly, he's gotta be a guy. What oh my god. Fuck you, frame drops. What guy doesn't just like sit back and have one of those days where you just watch TV and scratch your belly? As lazy as it sounds, every guy's had one of those days in his life. Whether you're like super active or whatnot, you've had one of those days. Admit it. Not everybody's perfect jock. Man, I use jock in like a really demeaning way. I'm sorry, people, if you're a jock. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just who you are. You're good at sports, and I'm not. I'm the one playing video games to try and like do something with my time. Does this make me a nerd, or what does, what does this make me? Thunder? What? Okay, well that's why I don't use those attacks. But, like, what, what could I be classified as? I don't like to use stereotypes, but obviously I just did with the common stereotype like a jock. Some jocks can be like the nicest people, people you ever meet. Like, I have a one friend who works out a lot, and he's Jack. But he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Hell, I even work with a couple of nice people that are really physically active and they're super nice. It's just... Where where do these common stereotypes come from, I guess? The jock, obviously, is from the person that's super working out. Has, uh, like... Has been on the whole of sports teams. and Oh, that's gonna kill me. Yeah, no, maybe I'm taking this too far. But what, what, I don't know what I can classify myself as. I'm a casual music player. Like, I play music, I play drums, but it's very casual. It's not, like, anything intense where I play it every single day, an hour a day. I just play it whenever I feel like it, and it just sits down there. It needs some repair, which I'm willing to pay for, but at the current moment right now, this is something that I'm putting my money into. But I, I play music casually. I listen to music every day, but I wouldn't call myself a musician because I listen to music. And, you know... I'm not a, I'm not a geek because I don't get like super awesome grades in school. I'm not a hardcore like Trekkie fan. I used to be a big Star Wars fan, but now I've lost half my knowledge of it. Um, I YouTube quite a bit, but that that doesn't really fit into a common stereotype. I have a, I have a ton of friends. Or, like, I think I have friends, but it's not like I'm that one guy that sits down at school and cries into his lap because he doesn't talk and he talk to anybody or he can't talk to people. I just I, I don't know what I could be classified as. Am I just that I'm not well rounded. I'll be honest, my physical activity could be a little bit better. And I do plan on doing that, you know? This summer. Summer twenty twelve. Get jacked. But you know, I I used to work out quite a bit with my buddy. I, I don't I don't know what what to classify myself as. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe it's better off that I can't classify myself into a common stereotype, I guess. Because if I did, then wouldn't that be a little negative on my own personal psych, I guess? Or go against my own self-esteem? Sit there and say to myself, oh, well, I'm a nerd. I'm not good for anything. Well, no, I I'm good at things. I I'm a pessimist, but I can also be optimistic at times. I can tell you one thing, I'm not useless, so I think it's be? good that I don't give in to these common stereotypes of mind. Hell, oh, Les Squirt? The Les Squirt. Three to two. That sounds this so wrong. You don't even know Pokemon, why would you name the it Pokemon that? Les Squirt? Les Squirt? Les Squirt, that's all it looks like, oh, Les Squirt. You know what? I, I, I really can't wait until... Why are you digging? You're a fucking water Pokemon, man. Oh, God. I don't know. I really can't wait until I can get my new editing software. And then I'll be able to do, like, window-based games as well. Because I plan on doing some of the older generation Pokemon games, too. And I can tell you one thing. I have not been able to play those games and not give my Pokemon any sort of nickname. And by that I mean like, even stupid nicknames. I remember when I was uh, 10 years old, my sister nearly killed herself laughing. Because she's 
couple years older than me, about five or six years older than me. And uh, I had caught a rye horn in one of my games. And of course, I was stupid enough to name it Horny. And of course, innocent 10 year old kid I was, I didn't know the definition of Horny. So when my sister and I were playing Pokemon together, battling, I used my Pokemon called Horny, and she nearly killed herself laughing. It made her day. And, you know, why does everybody have Dig? Oh, God. But, like, I, I don't even know. I've always named my Pokemon really stupid nicknames, and I felt like it could be a bad thing at times. But I'm not one of those people that goes on and does, like, Wi-Fi battles and whatnot, so it's not like everybody gets to see the stupid names I have for them. But, you know... If I do record it, then then you guys will start to see the, the nonsensical ideas that go through my mind. I think I named one of them Popsicle at one point just because I felt like it. 